What up Notion Geeks? In today's video, you will learn how to take your Notion game to the next level with the following six extensions. <laughs> Let's take a look at the first one, Bardeen.ai, the workflow automation tool. So right here in front of me, I have the extension installed. And what you can do is you can create a task in Notion with a shortcut from pretty much anywhere on your computer. So you can trigger the automation with an option B shortcut, just like this, or by clicking on the extension icon. Then click on this card called To Do, and you can give your To Do a name, Demo Task. So that's going to be the name of our task and it's going to create a new entry in our task database. You can view parent just like this and you will see that demo task created right there. We can click it off and we can open Bardeen from anywhere on your computer. Another to do, hey there. Hit enter a couple times and boom, there is another task. Super convenient and will save you tons of time from juggling tabs. Another really cool use case that you have at Bardeen allows you to extract information from pages and save it directly to Notion. It's the scraper use case. So if you're using Notion as your CRM, you can copy somebody's profile information from say LinkedIn to Notion directly. So here I have my LinkedIn profile page. I'm going to right click to trigger this right-click automation. And here I have LinkedIn to Notion. It's going to take just one second and boom, just like this, this person was saved in our Notion database. The cool thing there is that this specific automation has a notification attached to it. So you can click on that notification to open the page. And here we have all of the information that was extracted from this LinkedIn page. The second Chrome extension for Notion is called Save to Notion. All it does, it saves an entire article to a specific Notion database with a template. So here I have an article in front of me and the way I use this extension is I look for writers I want to hire based on great articles that I find online. Other people may want to save articles that are interesting for note taking or just have a repository of things that they want to come back to. So here we have the extension installed and you can create a new form or a template, I have great articles poach writers because I want to hire writers just like this. Uh, it has a predefined status identified and I can just click on add new page and it's going to save this information. So specifically the title of the page and the URL to a predefined database. So here we have it and you can open it and the contents of the article is going to be right here in front of you. So you can read entire articles uh, from Notion directly. It also saves videos, images, and it's just a really, really cool automation. And the next extension is Notion Enhancer. It allows you to customize the way your Notion page looks like and a few more cool UI features. So here I have it installed. Let's right click on it, options and they have something that's called extensions. So they're extensions within an extension, and then they allow you to do certain things. For example, you can change your fonts, you can create an outline, you can have this uh, scroll to the top button that shows up. But one of the things I really like is this indentation lines. So what this means is that if you have any list, for example, here we have a list, and then if I want to indent, you have this really cool line that allows you to see the levels. So if you're a student, this is a really dope tool. Let's go back to our enhancer menu and see a few more things. You can see line numbers in code blocks. Uh, this is really cool for engineers as well. So let's try this out. Let's do a code block. And here we can do uh, any code block. It needs to be in a certain format, wrap code, and then boom. There you have it. So whenever you write your code, you'll see the line number. Another really awesome thing is that you can actually adjust the way your Notion looks like. For example, you might want to have pink background. Well, guess what? You can click on themes and here you have pinky boom. So I'm going to click on reload to apply changes and let's go back to our Notion page. And that's what our Notion page looks like. Uh, not my favorite choice, to be completely honest. Purple backgrounds is my thing. And that's what I'm going to try to do. And the theme is called Dracula. So I'm going to enable this, reapply changes, and boom, let's go back. And the reason you do not see the updates yet, because it's a dark theme, meaning that you need to go to your settings and change appearance to dark, just like this. And boom, there we have our purple theme, exactly what I was looking for. Extension number four is called Tango. It allows you to capture processes automatically without having to screenshot and copy paste them 
back to Notion. Let's take a look. One of the most annoying processes that I want people to know about before working with me is let me Google this for you. How to use Google when you do not know the answer to a certain question. So let's record that exact process and let's go to Google. Here I have google.com right in front of me and I can capture the workflow. And just like this, I can just do the task the way I usually would. And at the end, I will have a nice process documented. Who is John Bardeen? All right, so here we have him. And then you'll need to click on the first link and just read this information. Just like this, we can click on the icon one more time, hit complete. And boom, just like this, here we have the entire process documented. Uh, here's the title of our process. It was automatically generated. Go to Google, type something. You can also make adjustments here. Type, type query. Add additional description. Type things that you want to learn about. This screenshot was automatically generated. Here we have, click on the first item. Let's edit this image. We can try to blur some information that might be sensitive, just like this. Let's annotate. And let's add some text over here. Boom, and there we have it. Click on save. So when you're done, you need to click on share and export and click on magic copy, copy markdown. And let's go to Notion, create a new page. It's going to be called, let me Google this for you. Process. Create a page from that. Paste the results and here we have it. We have the date, the title of the workflow and all of the screenshots that we're looking for. Pretty neat. The next Notion Chrome extension is called Q and it allows you to schedule tweets right from Notion. And the reason it's really special is because you are using Notion as a single place to do everything, content creation, and now you can schedule things from Notion. And finally, you can even monitor performance of tweets right from Notion. That's how amazing it is. So right here in front of me, I have a pre-built database that Q.so provides and here we have a board with different statuses. So here you can put different ideas. Uh, let's call this YouTube video. Then we can drag this to in progress. So when you're done writing your tweet, you can see the preview on the right side. This is how many characters you have left. You can also use the divider to create a thread. Here is a link, for example, and there will be another tweet right there. And not in my case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a publication time. Right now it's June 16th. I'm going to include time and my current time is 613. So let's schedule this tweet in one minute, 614 PM, just like this. And the very last thing we need to do is we need to change the status from in progress to ready. And here's what's going to happen. When you click on this icon right here, you can go to settings and see the automation that Q has. So it's going to use the publication time as a property to figure out when to publish something. And once the tweet is published, it's going to get all of this real time data imported back to Notion. Here we have the likes, profile clicks, replies, tweets. So this is pretty much your analytics to monitor performance of the tweet that you've just made without even leaving Notion. So let's go to our Twitter profile page. And now let's wait a few seconds until the post is published. It usually takes a minute or two. All right, and there we have it. It actually took around four minutes to be published and that's probably because I scheduled one minute ahead of time and I can assume it checks every five minutes or so, but here we have the post and here we have the metrics coming from that tweet. You can click on the link right here to open the tweet. Here it is and let's refresh this page and see if the results are going to get reflected. So not yet, but we can go back to our Twitter database. Right here we have all of the tweets that were scheduled with Q, and now we want to click on one of the previous tweets that I've made, and here you have the metrics, the impressions, the new followers, likes, comments, etc. And I think it's really amazing because you can go to the published view, 
and we can adjust the properties over here to see the metrics. So let's go to metrics. And now you can see all of the data from your recent tweets right in Notion. Again, you have your metrics right in Notion. How amazing is that? And it updates automatically. Another really awesome thing about scheduling tweets from Notion is the fact that you can have a content calendar inside Notion. So just go to calendar and you will see all of your future tweets. So if you're scheduling directly from uh, the Twitter app, you can hit tweet, you can put something like this and in order to schedule this post, you will need to click on schedule, set up the time, confirm, and that's pretty much it. So this will be a scheduled tweet, but you really do not know when it's going to be published visually. So in order for you to come back and see what was scheduled, you need to click on tweet one more time, hit unsend tweets, click unscheduled, who would know that? And see a long list of tweets over here, which is suboptimal if you ask me. And finally, extension number six will allow you to take notes from videos on YouTube. So all you need to do is go to your favorite YouTube channel, just like this one, make sure to subscribe and click on the video that you're interested in. And here is the extension. You'll see a few side panels that show up automatically and you can create notes. So you will keep watching the video as you usually would create a summary, for example, and say, this was cool, and save that snippet. Another really cool thing that you can do, as you can see, the video was resumed automatically, and as you go through the video, and you find something interesting, an interesting moment in the video, you can take a snapshot, and it's going to create a screenshot of that video. You can, again, edit the snapshot, so you have notes about it. So keep going through your video, make some more notes, make some more screenshots so it's more interesting. And when done, you can click on this icon and export to Notion. I gotta tell you, I was not able to make export to Notion work out of the box. So I'm using the export as markdown and you can copy to clipboard. It's going to copy all of these images to clipboard. So then you would want to go to Notion and add a new entry right here. Cool video. Let's open this page and paste the content inside the body. So here we have all of the information. We have the video URL. We have the video title over here and our screenshots. And this is it. After installing those extensions and applying them in your daily workflows, you're going to fall in love with Notion even more. It's going to be your second honeymoon. To get more productivity hacks just like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.